on Yahoo News um, says this today. Watch these cars perform choreographed dance moves. The dance, I think, is in quotes because, because everybody knows cars can't dance. So, you know, dance, that's really what they're trying to say. Um, but, so they basically have direction, like directions. They're giving me directions. They're saying, Sophia, click on this and watch these cars do a choreographed dance move. And I have directions for them, which is go out and research a real news story and then write about it. No less than 500 words. So I went to a Chinese market today and um, I saw a whole bunch of like live fish swimming in a really small tank and I, I saw their heads chopped off and then I thought to myself that is so sad and like that's so terrible how could anybody you know eat fish you know it's just look at it it's suffering it got its head cut off and oh just the whole thing was so sad and then I looked right next to that part and there was all this delicious fresh sushi and I said mmm delicious and then I had about 30 pieces. Do you ever pretend when you're walking on the street listening to your iPod that you're in a music music video? You know you do. If you just said you didn't, you're a fucking liar. So foot fetish guys, stop asking me to do foot fetish things, okay? Because when I gave you that shout out last time, I mean when I, I give you a foot out, that was all it was. It was a foot out. I'm a primarily... Uh, I'm in the joking business, you know? Uh, I'm not in the foot business. If I was, then I would have called myself Foot Fetish Sophia, and I would only talk about feet and only show my feet. Um, since you've noticed a notable absence of feet um, in my videos, other than for the times that I decided to throw you a foot out, then, you know, perhaps you need to reevaluate where you get your foot born from. When I was little and we had people over to my house that I didn't like, um, I would take clumps of dirt from like underneath their shoes and then put them inside their shoes so when they put their shoes back on, um, their sweaty feet and socks would stick to the dirt and then kind of make their socks all mucky and their shoes all mucky too. Yeah, pretty evil, huh? I totally made that thing about the shoes up because, you know, um, I have a really really active imagination. I don't really make that thing up about the shoes. Or or did I? I think I did. No, I didn't. Or did I? I really didn't. I totally didn't. But I totally might have. I would have. I was thinking about it. I just didn't put two and two together because I was so young. That's totally bullshit. I totally didn't do it. Sometimes I watch a movie with my friends and before we watch it we're like, oh, the movie's totally not scary but it's like really fun, you know, we'll just be watching this horror movie and like, we'll just laugh, it'll be really funny. And then we'll be watching it and at some parts I'll realize I've been holding my breath for like a minute, I've been like, <gasps> and then now it's not a scary part and I want to let my breath out but I know that if I just let it out I'll sound like I've been holding it for a minute, I'll be like, <sighs> wow, you know, that was really tense, I just didn't know if he was going to make it out of that cave, you know. But at that point, I just have to, like, let it out little by little. Like, kind of like if, you know, you had a beach volleyball and then you just let the little thing out. So I just sit there and I'm like... Sometimes I want to introduce my boyfriend to my uh, girlfriends for... Um, you know, because they really need a good man. And I'm like, oh, who's the best man I can think of? My boyfriend. I'm like, oh, you should totally meet him. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Ah, uh, no, because he's, I see. No, I'm not going to do that. But I think about it. I got a new purse the other day uh, with my mom. And this purse is awesome. It's basically a purse version of a mullet. And what I mean by that is that it's business in the front and party in the back. You know, for a while in my younger life, um, I would, I used to pretend that I had read books that I hadn't read, you know? And people would be like, oh, remember like that part in Moby Dick? And I'd be like, yeah, totally, that part, you know? Wow. It's, Moby Dick is quite a long book. And 
you know, now that I'm older, I'm just like, fuck it. You know, I'm letting the cat out of the bag. I have not read Moby Dick, everyone. So there it is. I'm laying it out there. You know, I'm coming clean. So now you tell me what books you haven't read. Because I know there's at least five. <laughs>